little creepy. It is Friday, and that means new episodes of Masters of Illusion tonight. I know you're excited. So joining me now to trick us with his treats, with his, no wait, <laughs> you're gonna treat us with your tricks. Magician you Trig Watson, there we go. Good morning. Is it trick or treat or is it trig or treat? I don't know. Boom, I like you already, <laughs> like the pun. Speaking of uh, trig or treat, tell me about your name, buddy. Oh, well, Trigg is actually a Norwegian name. Uh, it means trustworthy and true, which you might find a little ironic, given that I am a magician. That is very I... ironic, Trigg. <laughs> How did you get into magic? Oh, I've loved magic ever since I was a little kid. Um, you know, started watching David Copperfield specials, but pretty soon I got more and more interested in creating magic that's a little bit more modern, a little bit more high tech. That's kind of what I specialize in. Now, I heard that you wanted to help me with a new cell phone plan. I don't know how you knew I was struggling with this, but please. Oh, well, first of all, I know that people are kind of, you know, becoming a little bit more uh, sanitation, cleanliness conscious. So yeah. I always recommend, you know, people want to make sure that they keep their devices uh, nice, and, uh, nice and clean. Mm -hmm. uh, I would recommend taking this one step further, though. A lot of people don't think about cleaning the insides of their cell phones. Oh. I'll show you what I mean. I just need to find the soft spot, which is right about there. Check this out. I'm just going to see if I can clean it from the inside oh. out. The and that is how I like to keep my cell phone nice and clean. Now, I, I, let me ask you this, Jenny. Do you feel like you take your uh, do you take your smartphone for granted? Uh, yes. I mean, think about it. The multiple cameras, yes. you know, the the facial recognition. I feel like a lot of us have forgotten how far technology has come. It's true. Like, do you remember what the first iPhone looked like? It was huge. Back in Back in June of 2007, it was so cute. Look at this. Here, let me show you. It looked like this. Remember that? Look at that little baby thing. Look at, look at that little thing. Yeah, that? This is what I call a cell phone downgrade. Mm. I, can, I can downgrade it one step further. I mean, look yeah. at that. Look at the little, uh, so cute. little world and everything on there. Here, I'll take it one step further. We'll take a little bit further back. Ooh. Back to the flip phone. Remember that? Oh. Those were super hip back in the day. Is that the of course, not a, flip phone? You, Jenny, you strike me as someone that maybe was a little bit more professional. Perhaps uh, you were a big fan of the uh, the key, the fold-out keyboard. What? A little bit better. Uh, of course, we can take it really far back if you like. Let's let's take it super far back in the day, back to the original Nokia oh. with the extendable antenna. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> this is folks at home. This is not pre-recorded. I am no, as no, shocked no. as you are. Well, I, I bet, Jenny, like seeing my, uh, nothing would make you more grateful for the smartphone you have than seeing me with my new Motorola 8500X. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you may got to take this. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is amazing. Um, are you, you are such a showman to be able to do this, not to mention a trickster, you little shadester. How are you doing this? Tell me <laughs> well, your secrets. You. Where do you get these ideas from? Well, I'm always looking around the world and, you know, as a magician, I think it's fun to explore things that, you know, we, we might think about. Like, you know, one of my favorite things that I do in my show is an instant Amazon order where someone names a random item and that item arrives instantly in a few seconds on stage. So I'm always looking for ways to look at the world around us, the modern world around us, and try and find uh, ways to achieve things that people, you know, think would be fun. Like, I, you know, cell phone downgrade, for example. You know, we, we all talk about cell phone yeah. upgrades. I thought it'd be funny if we uh, flip that on its yeah. head a Yeah, not only magician, but you're adding in some comedy here, too. Tell me about Masters of Illusion. How did you get involved in that? Yeah, so I've been I've been on Masters of Illusions uh, on, on a couple of, for a couple different years. It's an amazing show that features all different styles of magic. I think over 45 magicians, many of them international. You know, so it's so great is that you get to see so many different styles. You see people that specializes in uh, like really great card tricks, close up magic, way scaled up to big stage illusions. And uh, it's uh, every every Friday during the summer. I'm on back to back episodes tonight. Um, it's a it's a great show. Trig, I, I forget, we have to wrap soon, but I read somewhere, and I forget where, someone said that magicians are like the first psychologists. They know how to read our brains and trick us. Would you agree? I think that's true. I just think we're more honest about it than a lot of other people that might do the same thing. <laughs> Trig, where can people go for more information on you? Oh, well, you can check me out on Instagram, tr at Trig Watson, Twitter, Facebook, all of that, or my website, TrigMagic.com. Then, uh, of course, check out Masters of Illusion as well tonight, 8, 7 Central, uh, two back-to-back -back episodes. Okay, Trig, I think you got to go because I hear your phone ringing back there. I think it's that flip. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. excuse me. Yeah. Sorry okay, about that. Okay, see you later. See ya. Goodbye. Hello. Bye-bye. <laughs>